Welcome to the WordPress tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to review how to update the contact form. If you go to your website, you'll see that you have a questionnaire, simple questionnaire, personal information, some quick questions, uh, agree to terms of and conditions, and your recapture form. Okay. So uh, in this case, we will, like usual, log into WordPress at your URL slash WP dash admin. Then we're going to go to contact. And we will look for the contact form. You will see a code for please note all fields are required. And you can start to compare if you get lost a little. And you will see where this is. So the H3 is just a big header make the font a little bit bigger. So what we have here is the name, placeholder is what shows up in the field box, name, email, phone number, city, profession, how did you hear about us? It's pretty standard if you want to change those, it, you just highlight and you change it. Your quick questions, your goals, what are your goals for the next three months, you can change that as well and uh, you can even change this the agree to terms and conditions say you no longer want to have uh, uh, you want to change the format of this see how agree to terms and conditions is inside of the drop down well we can simply change the structure highlight cut paste colon remove these two quotes good and we'll also notice we have an error here submit pre camp evaluation that's not the pre camp evaluation so we're going to take that off and we hit save we refresh the website and you'll see how the agree to terms and conditions is now outside and the button now says submit Additionally, uh, you can generate additional tags, emails, telephone numbers. Uh, they're all pretty simple. You want to add uh, an email, a text area, say a new question. And what this does is it generates the information for you. So you uh, create the field you can make it required or not and you highlight this copy and you can add it over here paste or you can simply copy copy and paste now you have another question right but how do you get that question to be submitted to you this is a two step process right uh, question needs to be down here so if you don't if you only add your field up top and you don't add it to your message body which which is right here mail message body then you're not going to receive that field so users will submit it but you will not get it so uh, we need to make sure that if you create a new tag or a new field or a new question that you want to add you want to add it both to the questionnaire which is what gets displayed here the website and also in your message body of the email that goes to you so configuring your message body the email goes to you you put in your email here and on the from I've probably already set this up for you but you want to put no reply at your bootcamp or your website or whatever uh, your URL is. Why no reply? Uh, when you use no reply, it helps get past spam. When you use the f your own personal from email address, it does not get through spam. Okay? 
because it sees that the email is being sent from the website and not from your personal email. So I suggest you use no reply in the from section. Okay. And additional headers, you're going to want to put, uh, in this case, email, email, and email. What does this do? Uh, when you click reply, it's not going to reply to no reply. It's going to reply to the email address of the person who sent it or submitted the form. Now, getting in contact automatically, an automatic response with your campers or potential customers is very important. So it has mail to, and this one goes to email. This has to match this and this. And it comes from, and you can put in your adventure boot camp, put in a name, and then these carrots will signify uh, that the email is inside. But again, you want to make sure that it comes from no reply at your website.com because it'll get through spam. Otherwise, you'll have a difficult time getting these emails the, being sent into a person's inbox subject you want to have a simple and clear subject because when they read a subject will determine whether or not they actually open up your email okay. additional headers this is very important you have your your personal email address right because when a person replies you don't want them replying to no reply at your website right you want them replying directly to you okay. now here is the kicker the thank you message you want to customize the thank you message as much as you can, right? You want to put in a welcome message. You want to put in a thank you message. Uh, you you want to make them feel like you are eager to talk to them. Obviously, the, the, this is the initial uh, the initial feeling they get from you is going to your website. This is a secondary. Okay, wow. They, they're really on the ball and uh, I got so much information from the website plus I got a great email response and then obviously you want to call the person within 24 hours to make sure uh, you can close the deal and and get them going to camp so uh, all three are a very important combination and right here in your message body is where you can really detail out and add as much information as you possibly can and really get them excited about going I also suggest if you have a PDF or something that you want them to read that it's going to be added value, you can add the link to the PDF or the item here. And if you have a document like a PDF that you want to upload, you can always upload it via the media gallery and add new. Once you add it, it's going to give you the URL. Okay, So you just put down here, uh, write text, download our PDF inside tips and then add the link to it right underneath. You don't want to make it too complicated, make it simple, give them information that they want to see. Okay? And uh, once you're, you're done, you've made your changes, you've added the questions that you want to add, then you can hit save. Okay? Well, hopefully this explains how to update your contact form a little. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to email me, Roberto E. Ruiz at gmail.com. Thank you.